Well, time for another vlog. Doo -doo -doo. Oh crap. Oh! Welcome back, guys. Just getting in the Rex is here. We're gonna fire her up. Cause we got some work to do. Good time. Well, guys, welcome back. Today, as you can't tell, we're working on Rexes. Well, I just kind of did an intro going into the garage. As, uh, as some of you know, I had some issues when uh, we were on the trail and I bent a certain arm. Well, I've been sitting on the parts and I didn't have to pay a lot of money because I already owned all this. But three years ago, I made a phone call to Jason, Trail Taylor. He's actually in Salt Lake City. And uh, I ordered upper and lower control arms for the rear axle. Um, I actually thought I had lost the bushings for the front or for the rears or the lowers. I hadn't. That said, I am only going to likely do the lower today so I can uh, get it back in normal. And for those that don't understand why, for those that don't understand, that control arm should be straight. So we're gonna get that off and uh, we're gonna do a comparison. Well guys, I'm gonna start pushing some bushings in and likely, I'm hoping I don't need heat. They're uh, polyurethane. They're a little on the older side because like I said, I've had these for years. That went in there nice and smooth. Energy suspension. Bushings, top one of the top of makers of bushings in the industry, in my opinion. Some don't agree, some will always go white line. I have no issues. A little bit of grease. A little bit here. Bench is a little dirty at the moment. Yeah, just like your mic, that's fine. Yep. Chew, you want to push that in, please? I guess. Then squeeze them together. And yes, I have a ratcheting vice, guys. It is worth every penny. And then, well, sometimes you just need to do it in a couple different places. You can see I have a little bit of gap. All we are concerned, actually, to be honest right now, guys, is getting the bushing 
It's totally pressed in. And uh, I'm pretty happy with that, guys. That's going to allow me to uh, get that in place pretty easy. Well, guys, are we've uh, just backing this bad boy off. Chew's just going to hold the camera while I kind of get everything ready. Twenty four mil on the back here, guys. Uh, can I get that hammer, please? Yeah. It's going to pop out nice and easy, actually, guys. I use brass for a lot of this stuff guys because it comes out much nicer. I'm really hoping, some guys have said you have to pull the shock to do this. I'm really hoping I don't have to. I guess we'll find out. Uh, <coughs> you got that the gun show! <laughs> I got it. I got it. Now get to the chopper. Kyle, set me up my half inch wrench on a 24 mil or a 3 8, I don't care. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, square is pretty easy. So, guys, I only do one side at a time. And these have actually been out at some point. There's a lot of corrosion in here. Um, but that's, that's okay. We'll clean that up. And I'm honestly hoping I can get this out without pulling that shock. But I might not have any luck. Pocket. Yeah, actually, try the wrench. Give me the 15 mil rasping wrench. Bruh. Oh, I'm wrong. <gasps> oh, there. 17. Our dogs, people, he was wrong. People shit it This up, anyway. day in history. I'm just. Does Tyler have a real window for his own or no? Yeah, he does. Hmm? His tailgate's bro uh, bent. Here's your front door. I trust you in some rock, too. That's my front? No. That's preposterous. Hey. Oh, hey, Merlin! Are you double wrenching? Oh, I am double wrenching it. Can I get it not on a ratchet? Because I'm going to break the ratchet. Good? Yeah. Okay. So, guys, I didn't pull the shock the whole way. That means I don't need to compress it and to try and get it in, which isn't too, too hard. I just put a bottle jack in, guys. But I'd likely have to take the tire off. Let's go up top. So guys, just a side by side comparison. You can see there's quite a bit more rigidity to that. A Johnny joint up top and a bushing here. Likely what I'm gonna do is put the Johnny joints up so this raw, this isn't getting nah, smashed by rocks. And then I'll uh, make sure that the grease Sarah fittings are pointing in the up position so they're not getting hit by rocks either. We're just gonna measure the center to center, set these roughly the same, put it on. Uh, I went with adjustable guys because I do know I do need to adjust my pinion angle. I have a bit of a too much pinion at the moment. Yeah, too much pinion angle for my lifter. Not enough, sorry. So we need to do some adjustment at some point, that'll be another video. I'll get the opinion adjusted, uh, opinion angle finder, and we will dial the opinion angle exactly the way we need to be. So that way I get less rear diff vibration. All right guys, so all we're gonna do is measure a center to center. Hello. Bonjour. Is crazy 
Okay. Yes, it and is. So we are. So we've so got we, yeah, 27 and a half center to center. Or for us Canadians, 70 centimeters, 700 millimeters. I always got asked why I had such a large crescent wrench. Um, and it's mainly for this, guys. Compensating. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to get this lined up square. Ideally, you'd want it on a bench. Chu, can you hold that in the center, please? It's not square, though. It's a circle. And uh, I need to come out one half turn. One full turn. Because actually, we need to be bottom on both your grease circs on the top. Center, please. And uh, I'm very happy at 70 millimeters there. So I'm very happy, guys, at 70 centimeters. So what do I do? A little bit different is I just get an initial torque here, guys, just to start to tighten it, and then I'm going to now put this, put this in to tighten it, and that's going to make our life easier when we want to. Uh, make an adjustment on this uh, or not an adjustment because you can't adjust these in line you'd need a double uh, actually I'll show you what you'd need you need something like this uh, this is actually for a pan hard bar I am not going to cut and weld my pan hards uh, yet uh, likely in the future I will but this guys is for pan hard adjustments front and rear I'm probably gonna do one on the front the rear I have a different solution and I'm gonna do another video Detailing how I want to do it, but guys this is an adjustable one without having to take both ends off So you'd actually be able to back this nut off and spin it uh, very ingenious uh, How they do them I would need Johnny joints on both ends to do it though Okay, well, okay guys so biggest thing If you have grease joints make sure they're up. I ended up uh, Greasing them beforehand We're gonna get the top one in first we might regret that decision in a little bit, but we'll see. I have my punch. Pull it up. And then through. Once I can kind of line everything up. And guys, don't be afraid to put it in backwards to begin with. Because if you put it in backwards, you can tend to usually line them up a little bit easier. I'm just going to line myself up whole wise so I can see. And we're in. Washer goes back on. So biggest thing, guys, when you're doing this, just hand tight for now. Um, I'm going to end up building or buying, depending on what the cost is, and I'll talk with Jason because I know he sells them. Maybe he'll give me a bit of a discount after this video. Uh, trail, lower trailing arms. So what they actually are is trailing arms, guys. I think I call them control arms, whatever. Um, they sell skid guard, or guards here, uh, skid plates essentially, and it allows you to bump up without hitting your control arms or your trailing arms. So once that's kind of there, guys, and make sure you didn't rotate this during that process. Now this could be the interesting part because we got to get the bushings in place. And I actually thought maybe doing that one first, but I guess we'll see. I might have to. Try it open a bit, and this might still have to come out. I might have to do this side first, guys, but we'll see. Um, the axle may have to get moved to hair, too. Okay, people. Well, he just told me he has an issue. I guess we're going to find out what in the world he is talking about. So Jason, if you're watching this video, this is like exactly what you want to show. Uh, Pat, you pass the camera. Uh, I can barely manage to get this control arm out. Um, this flap is bent down, 
So they sell skids, guys. I'm not repping any brands or anything, but this here, I'm gonna have to cut this out. I'm gonna have to cut a piece or flat or try and bend it out so I can get this out to get the Johnny joint in. Likely, what I'm actually gonna do is probably pull the backside down and then I should be able to slide it out. But I just figured I'd show you why a skid guard or some form, and it guys, it really wouldn't take much to make anything like this either. Um, just to protect this from happening. I'll talk to you guys soon. Ha! It's out! Um, that's right. That's straight. That's good. <laughs> um, it's about as straight as a boomerang. Um, guys, just like... Oh, I wish I had something with a flat edge. Or the other one. Uh, Compared to your other old one. The other old one. The other old one, guys, is, is straight. Like, just, just to put it into perspective. You gotta pass me the new one, Steve, Chewy. This is gonna be a good thumbnail. Well, guys, there we are. It's out, it's compared. And uh, yeah, I would say that's pretty dickered. Uh, yeah, if you look up closely, you can see all the marks. You can see I bashed this good, guys. So I'll have a hard time doing that to this. I'm not gonna say it's impossible. The new one could do the same thing, but Larange Off-Road, you guys got me. My trophy, or your trophy, Jeff. Larange's trophy of uh, Redding Joe Off-Road's Rex. This is, uh, Lower trailing arm. You thought you bent a set of leaf packs good. This is my control arm that's supposed to be stronger metal than a leaf pack. Don't get me wrong, a leaf pack does not bend easily. <laughs> Let's get to it. We're gonna grease these grease joints here, guys, and uh, we'll be back with uh, it installed. And honestly, guys, it, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Give me a share, leave a comment. If you want to see something different, let me know. But uh, we're pretty much at the end, guys. I'm very happy to get 70, 70, you know. English is wonderful.